good. Uh, good afternoon. This is the uh, July 26, 2022 meeting of the uh, Public Service Committee of the Garden City Council. All members are present. Uh, and uh, we get started with the uh, first item on the agenda is the review and approval of minutes for the prior meetings of May 25th, 2022 and June 8th, 2022. That's the tyros. Thank you. I move that we waive the reading of the minutes and approve them as presented. Second. Okay, the motion is to uh, dispense with the reading of the minutes and uh, accept them as printed. Is there any it's seconded and made and seconded? Is there discussion of the motion? Not all those in favor, aye. 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 Those opposed? So motion passes. Next order of uh, business is department update. Public works, sewer water. Dane Arnold, DPW director. You're on. Thanks for having me. Uh, well, I'll start with paving. Um, it appears that the paving list is uh, final with the mayor. Um, probably in three weeks or so, we will be paving uh, Parker Street. We'll be finishing up that section downtown, uh, which we didn't do because we're waiting for the sidewalk project, which uh, they should be completed probably within two weeks, the contractor said. Uh, they just re poured, they had to rip out that concrete that uh, an individual happened to walk through. Oh, it turned out they couldn't repair it? No, so they pulled it out and it's actually being poured and they're, they're guarding it, I think, with armed guards uh, as we speak. Um, so once that's done, uh, they believe they'll be out of there in a couple of weeks, so we'll be paying that probably the third week in August. So that's Parker Street and Connor Street. Um, as you go know, down in the Robillard area, Robillard, Whitman, uh, we're gonna be doing more or less from Coleman Street Everything west all the way to Shoreline, uh, Shore Lane, and that includes Douglas, Draper, Foss, um, and all the streets in between, uh, in between Parker and West, everything mm -hmm. in between that. Uh, we can't fit A Street and we can't get Gene Street currently with the with the funds, but uh, we're getting a good chunk and that's all new sidewalks. Are you doing all of Coleman Street? All of Coleman Street. Yeah. Uh, putting in a wheelchair, uh, handicap accessible um, ramps at all the intersections, all new sidewalks, new berms, uh, the drainage is being checked and moved as we speak because some of this areas is getting narrowed uh, on a section on Robillard and a section on Whitman Drive is uh, being narrowed. So it's pretty nice looking. Uh, I think it's going to be a nice project when everything's done. Um, we also have Warwick Street, which has a new water main uh, replaced that along with Kendall. Uh, we're going to pulverize and pave uh, Kendall and uh, Warwick Street. Crestwood Drive. Uh, with all the cross trenches uh, down there, that street's getting done, and the Lawrence Street Walk is projected to get done this year as well. Mm -hmm. So, that, uh, as a project, it's about 1.8 million bucks worth of paving, and what's probably the, just under 2 million bucks. And what's the timetable? Uh, well, we have a lot of work as the DPW to do drainage work and uh, down at the Robillard area. That's probably not going to get done until, I'm guessing, mid-September to late September. Mm -hmm. uh, it could even be later, depending on um, trying to schedule the contractor as well. Um, Crestwood Drive uh, probably get done end of August, and I'm looking at Warwick and Kendall to try to get done sometime at the end of August. Well. What section of Crestwood Drive that we talked about? Crestwood Drive is uh, the entire length from um, Bigford Hill whoops out around the second all the way down. Okay, all so with the, all of Crestwood Drive. Yes. Because okay. yeah. I thought part of that had, no, it's, we, big, it's Bigford, no more. Well, you. we did do a, a small portion. section from Bigford to Bigford or Big, uh, Yeah, the loop it's in, uh, the, in the loop park that yeah. was part of it. I thought yeah. it was so that's paving. Do you have any questions? Or? Is the entire length of Kendall as well? Uh, yes, including the small section sidewalk that's uh, in between Glenwood and so all, all the way to South Main. Right? Yeah. Yes. Is it where it's all raised up? Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do in there, but <laughs> i got to figure something out. Okay. Uh, probably going to need a, like a retaining wall or something. Um, we're still waiting for word on um, funding as far as transmission line and the James Street pump station. Um, probably not going to happen until September, October. I don't, I don't know yet uh, whether we're going to receive the grant or not, but we we have our feelers out in a couple of areas for, for funding. The application is in? Yeah, several of them yeah. Um, in different areas. 
Uh, Rivoli is finishing up their punch list uh, as far as the water main project. I'm hoping they're out of here by August, um, the end of August. They're just doing some concrete work on Parker Street, West Street, and a couple of the areas up the center of town. Um, other than that, I think the majority of the punch list is done. They've been satisfactory. They're back this year, I think. Yes, they're they're a good company. Mm -hmm. they, they did well. Um, we're also going to try to undertake doing some manhole adjustments, which um, our sewer main holes, if you drive around, some of them are two inches, three inches lower. Uh, we put together a list, so you'll see the sewer department are adjusting. Yeah, there's one right down the road here. Yeah. Okay. So you'll see it dig safe, and we're going to be working on that. Um, Crystal Lake, the, the building. Just on that, that is, uh, is uh, at the end of, of uh, Lawrence Street, there's a, a Lawrence near Temple. There's a depressed uh, animal cover. Okay. It's, I know, I think Temple, Temple Elm and Chestnut were, there was a bunch of them on Okay. That. Um, up at Crystal Lake, um, the building has been taken down and removed. Uh, we did the demolition of that um, over the last two weeks, and we are looking at getting cremation monuments or similar to what they have over at the Win Winchington um, facility. Uh, we're also playing with the idea of there might be walls and like a octagon type structure that we're getting prices on doing that, but they're costly. But we're going to try to fund some of it out of perpetual care, and maybe the funds that we receive from cremations will pay for more as time goes on up there. But it's, it looks nice up there. Yeah. Is there a, a design for it that uh, you can come up with? Uh, um, it's in formulation? Not yet. I'm reaching out to, we're going to try to get the company to send us some, some pictures mm -hmm. first. Well, when you, when you get those, maybe you can share them with the committee. Absolutely. Wasa Street, we're doing a drain project that we're going to be starting probably tomorrow or Thursday. Uh, there's the section in between Whitman and Pond. It's completely flat and it's flooding, and um, so we're going to be adding some drainage. It's a low area, too, there, isn't it? Yeah. So that's starting tomorrow. Other than that, uh, 140, I believe, is almost about 90% complete. Um, and Pearson Boulevard, they're probably 50% complete up there. Uh, they've got the berms in, and they're going to do the top coat and the sidewalks as well. Um, one of the concerns, which I sent an email this morning to the mayor and the um, auditor, is just the cost of energy and utilities that uh, I had to go back in front of council and ask for money out of, because I was, we were shorthanded more or less in the DPW, we were short about six people. Um, there was money left over in my account, so we were transferred from the salary account down to uh, the operating budget. Um, just looking ahead, um, we averaged for between March and June about $38,000 a month for fuel for the city. Now that's DPW, police, fire, school. Um, we, we averaged about $38,000. So if we project that for an entire fiscal year, um, it comes up to be about $450,000. We budgeted 220, so that's an additional 235 thousand dollars the city could be looking at um, in additional fuel costs, and that's if we go by the average. Uh, in June, we spent uh, 57 thousand dollars in fuel, so if we use that as a as an average cost projected over the budget year, uh, we're going to need an additional 465 thousand dollars. So I just wanted to make the city aware of, you know, kind of budget this or keep it in the back of their mind that we could be facing a, a drastic fuel increase next year. Um, and given that, uh, just, did you have your city council meeting? It's coming up on Monday. Coming up on Monday. Uh, there's a request for funds, which is more or less the transfer to cover the uh, line items that I have in the red, and they're all, they're all related to fuel costs and energy costs. Yeah. That's the transfer that you're talking about from leftover money from last year? Correct. Yeah, I had a question about that. And uh, just to maybe, uh, Council of General House can comment as a member of the Finance Committee, but it just seemed an unusual circumstance that after the end of the fiscal year, you can transfer money, a 
uh, that we're authorized to transfer money out of what would otherwise be falling into uh, uh, free cash into into an account that would pay for last year's bill. The mayor mentioned at finance me that I believe you're allowed up to August first. I was coming through August first, yeah, that's what I remember. Um, and then I think you still have two weeks even after that to, so to pay them. To, to pay them, but these yeah. bills that are incurred uh, up to August first, yeah, up to yeah. Well, yeah. well, incurred in the previous fiscal year, but, received, but submitted, yeah. yeah, received afterwards, but bills from the previous. Got it. Okay, thank you. Um, back to the water department. Um, you're going to see a company uh, out doing a leak detection of the entire water system. They go out with basically and they listen to the ground and listen for leaks. Uh, we had it done a couple years ago and they found 85 million gallons, which sounds like a ton of water, which it was, but they found 85 million gallons of a leak, uh, which it would have leaked for a year if we didn't do anything about it. So they do this report, they find the leaks, the water department goes out, they fix a hydrant, they fix a small service leak. Some of it was on private water services that we had to contract the owner and they estimated and did the repairs. So we figured now that we've done all this water main work in the city, get them back in here and do another survey of the, of the entire city mm -hmm. and see what else we can find, uh, mm -hmm. if anything. So um, it just helps on lost revenue. And that's in the budget. Uh, it was uh, just under 10 grand, actually, to mm -hmm. do, do the entire city, which I thought was pretty good. It's reasonable. Yeah. So you'll see them out in the city. Um, it's all like it's system wide, then. Kind of the entire water system. Any questions, comments? Would a, uh, a leaking water main that was just recently put in beyond Rivoli to fix or? Yeah, it would be under, hopefully we don't want to find that, we just paved the roads, but yes, that's that would, exactly would, yeah. would be under a warranty, it would come off. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what is, if you know, the status of the uh, project on Elm Street? The gas, the gas main? Yes. Um, I mean, only from the point of view of, of the condition of the road. I don't know how much longer they have, because I know, I know they ran into problems up there. But I do know that when they're done with their uh, installation of the gas main, they come in and they, they do a nice trench. Uh, they're doing the trench. So they're, what they're going to repair is the trench, what they dug up, not anything beyond that. No, that's all they're, that's all they're on the hook for. Yeah. Because it's a... Uh, Aside from the detours associated with it, the you know the unevenness of the pavement because of the ditch, it's the pavement that is there is depressed right. from the rest of the roadway. Yeah, when they filled that in, they 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 found that the existing asphalt was so thick that they couldn't just saw cut it, so they had to actually bring in a machine and uh, pulverize the trench. So they just threw in temporary patch, and it is it is uneven. Um, I can reach out to them to do it. Yeah. But, I know they're just going to dig it up anyway. But. But they'll be digging that up and replacing it? Yeah, it's putting in a gas main where that trench is. Oh, they so haven't put in the main yet? No. Oh, no, they're really? still working on it. Yeah. So they're, they got a ways to go then? Yeah. I'll leave something. Yeah. Here, you give us a status report. I know I hear about that a lot. Mostly the detours, not, but also the condition of the, when it is open. So. If you catch it wrong, it does kind of. Yeah. Right. Unfortunately, when they're done, the trench will probably be the best part of the road. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's an inducement, maybe. <laughs> um, the other question I had is, is uh, are you doing potholes? Uh, yeah, we're constantly making a okay. list. And, okay. Because if you just make a note, there's a, it's not a uh, large diameter, but it's deep on Comey Street near the intersection of Pearl. I think someone sent this. Uh, uh, report, report, report a pothole. But, yeah, 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 yeah. Was you. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it looks really good. <laughs> yeah, get that. Okay, anything else uh, for the day? Okay, then moving on. Uh, Rob, uh, all of it is. Uh, on vacation now, so he won't be reporting to us, but we did give us a report on the uh, on the poll location. And uh, Katie Gurton is next, and so Katie, you're up. All right, so conservation-wise, we've picked up a little bit now that it's summer and people have projects to do. 
So we have some single family home projects coming in front of us that are within the wetland buffer zone. But our biggest projects right now are Keys Road Culvert. Um, it's currently in front of the Conservation Commission for a notice of intent as required for a culvert replacement because it touches on every single jurisdiction area that it can for wetlands protection. Um, it's been continued, it was last night, the hearing, it's been continued, um, waiting to hear back from Mass DOT Chapter 85 review mm -hmm. on the roadway, that's the bridge that's being proposed. Um, unfortunately, we did not receive any grant funding for construction this round, and that's solely because we didn't have all permits in hand. We kind of knew that going in. Um, the good thing is, next year for the grant rounds, everything will be ready and we should be a good candidate. Uh, it is a $1.67 million project, um, so we really do need like MVP money and, and DER grants mm -hmm. to fund this. Um, Time Bonds, the consultant, they are gonna stay through the whole project through construction when we do get that funding. So it's kind of just in the permitting stage, getting all the permits together, and then we'll uh, revisit it next spring. So the, the, at this point, the the plan would be for the project to actually go to to uh, to start uh, next in the next uh, season. Yeah, I mean, the, I, to, I, I, subject to change. I understand. We have to apply for the grants again next spring. You kind of, you get the you hear about the um, awards this time of year, and then it would so go it, out to bid. So it might not be it, over a year. It after. could be two years. Yeah. Provided we get the funding. Um, it is a necessity though because it's you know, it's failing and that's the only way in and out for the Keys Road residents. Yeah. There's no possible detour. So we, just, we want to build a bridge somewhere else. Yeah. 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 So that's in front of us. Um, the other thing I've been working on, it's kind of conservation related, um, is the the Bailey Brook Park up of Leo Drive. Mm -hmm. um, we have a final design and a final cost. We do have the money in the account from the state from the grant, uh, three hundred eighty thousand. The park grant. Yep, that's the park grant. Um, we should be wrapping up this week with the consultant and then getting ready to go out to bid. Mm -hmm. the next and week construction. Week. It has to be done under the state grant by the end of next year. By June, by June 1st of next year, or yes. the end of June? Uh, it's June 1st. Ah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's because there was another June 1st that we had over up against. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, yeah. So it has to be done by June 1st next year, the whole. And we're on, uh, on track as far as you can tell? Yeah, yeah. Great. As long as we get a contractor that can, can do the work. Yeah, meet that deadline. Okay, um, good enough. And then the landfills in front of us, the landfill expansion. The sludge, um, land, the sludge landfill? Sludge landfill, yep, the expansion. Um, it did get continued last night. Commission's looking at a third party peer review. Um, it is limited jurisdiction as far as conservation goes, but we had a lot of uh, other concerns. Um, so the commission kind of. A lot of concerns or a lot of abutters? A lot of abutters and a lot of concerns. Yeah. Anything, uh, kind of the same concerns we've been hearing about uh, yeah. over the course of the years? Yeah, I believe so. I mean, I wasn't here yeah, I for, the, for the two years but ago. Concerns about, from abutters regarding the sludge landfill are not new. Yeah, right, right, right. There's nothing new, I don't think, from what's been said two years ago. Um, the difference is it's a notice of intent now, mm -hmm. uh, where it was an ANRAD two years ago where they were just delineating wetlands. And right. kind of locking in the wetland lines. So it's in motion now. Now it's in motion to actually, now the whole project's out in the open. Everything, the expansion, the drainage, everything. So, um, yeah, a little more. So that peer review process would take some time? Yeah, it, it, yeah we have to figure out um, the scope and go with the consultant and see what it's going to cost. And, um, what was the vote of the Conservation Commission? It was um, it was unanimous okay. for peer review, I believe, yeah, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm just curious. Yeah. Um, okay. And then yeah, there's nothing other really no really big projects, just like single family homework, mm -hmm. like additions and decks and things like that. So. Okay. Um, 
Very good. Those are the three big ones. Okay. Any questions, uh, Councillor Bill Adams? Nothing this time. Okay. Councillor Tarrant? Uh, if you know what um, kind of where it can be used, do you know the current like runway left of this sludge line fill? Are we up against a kind of fill? As far as the timeline? Yeah. Uh, we have we actually have a uh, topographical survey done every year, and they determine the volume that's left uh, in it. And I believe it was um, 24-25. It was going to year 2024-2025. It was going to be running out of expansion. So we're trying to get that built and ready to go, so we don't have the truck at least um, in between. Anything else? That's all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, next item we have is the uh, Keys Road uh, whole location petition from National Grid and Horizon New England. Um, we have a report uh, from the uh, city engineer regarding uh, the description of the project and of the poles, uh, relocation and new poles. Looks to me that there isn't any immediate urgency to it. <laughs> no, this is this has to do with the construction of the culvert. Right. I, think, I think it's a temporary relocation too, or maybe it's not now. Well, they didn't, it didn't indicate that it was temporary. Oh, I thought it was just during construction of the culvert. Um, I, maybe it's well, changed. Maybe, maybe. Maybe they figured it's just better to just permanently relocate it. Relocate it, well, and they can come back and move it again mm -hmm. if they. If mm -hmm. they yeah, but there's no there's no, no rush at this point. Right. So I guess, is the, are there any questions that we want to resolve before we move ahead with this? Uh, when is Rob due back? She'll be back Monday. Not, uh, next week? Because yeah. um, I, I, I had some concerns that, that, uh, about the map, or, you know, and I don't know what you guys think. Um, just, I, I believe, I'm looking at the general laws, but uh, chapter 166, just clarification that we didn't have to have a public hearing for poll number two. Uh, excuse me, poll number three. Um, because it's on private property. I believe that's correct, but just to make sure we cross our T's and dot our I's. And um, as Councilor Walsh said, the map just clearly delineating which, I believe I know which one's poll number two um, by across the illumination, but um, just I didn't see that clearly map, uh, marked on the map. Yeah, they don't seem to be poll number one and poll number two aren't marked. The only ones that are marked are poll three, which is not the subject of the petition. Yeah. Uh, that's something maybe we can ask about at the public hearing, which is, I think, on Monday. It's going to be on Monday. Okay. But uh, since there's no urgency to it, maybe we could ask for more time. Because if we can't get an answer to the question, the, the question I have is whether there are new wires going over some portion of the public way that aren't going over there now associated with poll number three. Uh, that isn't the subject of the petition, but perhaps should be because there may be new wires going over a public way. And, um, uh, and as I read the statute, if there are wires going over a public way, even if the pole isn't in the public way, that, that has to be the subject of public hearing as well. And with notice to the abutters. Um, maybe the same abutters, but uh, the petition itself would need to be amended or so. Another reason why it would be nice to have somebody here that uh, they choose not to send. What do you guys think about that? I think like, asking for more time uh, makes sense, especially seeing it sounds like it's, it's a year and a half out. And, and we can inquire, Rob may be able to inquire of the contacts at National Grid to resolve the questions that we have. I can follow, I can follow up with them. And it would be good to have the city engineer reach out. Yeah. No. yeah. Um, that, that requires a motion to move to no. recommend we ask for more time. Second. Yeah. Any further discussion? All those in favor, aye. 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 So we'll ask for more time on that. Any transfers we've already gone over, I think, have we, uh, Gene? Yeah. You guys are satisfied? Uh, yeah. I mean, we don't uh, report on them, but uh, we, I mean, we could. The only concern I had about it was whether we were authorized, and the question has been answered. So, um, do 
you anticipate uh, additional deficiencies in the short term that, that based upon the inflation and the increased cost? Yeah, I mean, I can't imagine we'd be in the red by November when the money is certified. Um, yeah. But, I mean, obviously I'm monitoring it, but there should be enough money to get us at least halfway gotcha. through the year based on, yeah. I mean, who knows as far as the price of fuel goes. If it, it has been dropping, um, we don't pay what you pay at the pump. Um, we, we're not paying federal and state tax, so we're not paying as much. But, but still, but still what what proportion of uh, of gasoline versus diesel do you use? Or, yeah, yeah. I'd probably say it's like uh, sixty percent gas, forty percent diesel. Mm -hmm. If that by dollar volume or by consumption? Uh, by consumption, so by dollar, it probably is about fifty fifty. Because diesel's a fair amount more expensive, right? Yeah. yeah at least I, I can I can get an answer to that. But honestly, I, I don't know the answer to that. But yeah. it might be interesting oh. to look. Yeah. Any uh, council requests? Well, I might have a couple questions. The, I think um, Rob was going to look at the Union Street culvert and then those poles on West Broadway. I don't know if both of those has that has happened or not. I can follow up with him. Yeah, uh, I don't. I don't recall. Okay. Right. All right, I'll follow up with him uh, on Monday. Okay. Uh, that's all I have. Though. Anything else? Nothing. Okay. George, anything else? I have uh, nothing further that I haven't already reported. System, or, or that we haven't already covered. So, if there's nothing else, we'll move to adjourn. Okay. All those in favor, aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion to adjourn passes. We stand adjourned. Thank you, Katie. Yep.